Sami Zayn to win the Undisputed Universal Championship. Sasha Banks and Naomi return, two actors to team up with The Rock in WWE against Roman Reigns. Sami Zayn called a joke, Sami Zayn to start his own family, The Rock to help Sami Zayn defeat Roman Reigns. Let's jump right into it. Sasha Banks and Naomi Return Sasha Banks and Naomi have been pulled from the upcoming Vulture Festival, which is scheduled to take place on Saturday next week. The former WWE Women's Tag Team Champions have been taking non-wrestling bookings since they were suspended from the company several months ago for walking out during an episode of Monday Night Raw. It was reported that they reached an agreement to return to the wrestling juggernaut, which means we could see them back in the squared circle soon. However, the organizers of the Vulture Festival sent out a notice informing everyone attending the show that Sasha Banks and Naomi will no longer be appearing due to unforeseen scheduling conflict. This notification is a Vulture Festival event update. Due to an unforeseen scheduling conflict, Mercedes Varnado and Trinity Fadu are no longer able to participate in their event on Saturday, November 12th at 8 p.m. WWE held a house show in Mexico this past week, and the boss was spotted with her former rival and tag team partner Bailey. As per Apollo Valdez of Superlucha.com, an exotic Mexican wrestler named Mambo was their tourist guide. The report mentions that Banks was with company staff during a live event in the country. The October 10th live event in Mexico saw Bianca Belair defend her Raw Women's title against Bayley, which was won by the EST of WWE. Other matches included Santos Escobar vs. Dolph Ziggler, Kevin Owens and Johnny Gargano vs. Chad Gable and Otis and Seth Rollins vs. Matt Riddle vs. Austin Theory in a United States Championship Street Fight match. The role model is set to take on Bianca Belair in a last woman standing match at WWE Crown Jewel. It'll be interesting to see how and where Sasha Banks and Naomi's return takes place. When do you think Sasha Banks and Naomi will finally show up? Sound off in the comments below. Two actors to team up with The Rock and WWE against Roman Reigns. Actors Adrian Graux and Bradley Constant from NBC's hit comedy Young Rock believe they can team up with The Rock in his rumored match against Roman Reigns at the upcoming WrestleMania 39. The Tribal Chief has been at the top of his game for over two years. On one episode of Young Rock Season 2, Dwayne Johnson hinted at a potential match with his real-life cousin at WrestleMania. If Roman Reigns has the bloodline in his corner against The Rock, then even Johnson has Young Rock actors Adrian Graux and Bradley Constant by his side. During a recent interview, Wrestling Inc., S. Nick Hossman asked the actors whose side they would be on if a dream bout happened. Here's what they answered. Oh, rocks all day. You kidding me? No, Constant said. Yeah, we should roll out there. Just a big crew, The Rock and his younger selves, just out, mocking everybody. It should just be us versus everyone. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Yeah, Adrian Graux agreed. Reigns and Johnson have been dropping massive hints for a dream match by taking back and forth shots at each other. For instance, during an episode of The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, the tribal chief claimed he would fight The Rock. I would, yes. I don't know if he wants it, but that's kind of something we do in our family as far as sports entertainment, professional wrestling, WWE. This is our platform. This is our family business. I fought one of my cousins, the Yuzos, Jay Yuzo, you know, about a year ago. And we're better to kind of solve problems than in the squared circle, you know, in the WWE ring, revealed Roman Reigns. Similarly, while appearing on the rundown for E! News, The Rock declared that he is the head of the table. The WWE Universe expected Dwayne Johnson to appear at WrestleMania 38 to humble Reigns. However, that did not happen. Nevertheless, since WrestleMania 39 will take place in Hollywood, fans might expect Dwayne The Rock Johnson to acknowledge or humble the Tribal Chief. Do you think the Young Rock team can put down the bloodline? Sound off in the comments below. Sami Zayn called a joke. Vince Russo doubts whether the bloodline member Sami Zayn's current storyline is a serious thing or if WWE is simply playing along since he's funny. The honorary use has been the standout performer in WWE of late and has organically forged a strong connection with fans. Despite being a part of the bloodline, a heel stable, the audience always cheers for Zayn. His success with the crowd has been attributed to his impressive character work. However, Vince Russo is unsure if this would lead to anything substantial. Speaking on Sportskeeter Wrestling's writing with Russo, he wondered if WWE was pushing Zayn just because he was making people laugh. That's the thing, bro, I don't know, from a company point of view, if Sammy is just popping everybody in the back, popping Reigns, popping Heyman. I don't know if he's popping everybody in the back so they are just going with it because they think it's funny and he's funny. But does that equate into serious plans? I don't know, bro, said Vince Russo. Russo claimed that Sami Zayn is making Triple H laugh, and the Bloodline members are probably hysterical after coming backstage after their segments. That said, the wrestling veteran questioned whether WWE had anything planned out for the honorary use long term or if they were just going with the flow. I know how they work. Everything was all about popping Vince, so now everything's about popping Triple H so you know he's popping him, so you know when they go in the back after that segment, those guys are hysterical. But are they thinking a serious thing? I don't know bro, I honestly don't, said Russo. In a chat with Sportskeeter Wrestling, Samu, a member of the revered wrestling family, Anoi, asked the bloodline to keep an eye on Sami Zayn. 
He explained that although he doesn't like outsiders, he has faith in the stable. They've got to keep their eye on that Sami Zayn, Samu said. I don't trust many people, but outsiders, especially when they come in trying to kiss someone's BTT, but I have faith in the bloodline. They're holding down the fort pretty good. I don't think anything's crumbling yet. Regardless of what happens eventually, it's safe to say fans have been immensely enjoying what Sami Zayn and the bloodline are offering them every week. What do you think would be the end point of Sami Zayn's storyline? Sound off in the comments section below. Sami Zayn to start his own family. Vince Russo recently stated that it would make sense for the Bloodline member Sami Zayn to form his own family and WWE to take down Roman Reigns. The Bloodline is the most dominating stable in the global juggernaut today, with every member of the stable being on top of their game. Not only have they conquered most of the roster, but their inner dynamics make for must-see television. Despite being a vital member of the faction, Sami Zayn is the odd one out since he isn't related to Roman Reigns, the Usos, and Solo Sokoa by blood. Speaking on Sportskeeter Wrestling's Riding with Russo, Vince Russo explained Zayn might be secretly infiltrating the bloodline. He compared the storyline to that of Brian Danielson and the Wyatt family in 2013 to 2014, when the former WWE star became a part of the stable only to dismantle it from within. The thing that makes sense to me is kind of what they did with Daniel Bryan and the Wyatts. If Sammy's whole game plan he's infiltrating them from the inside, if that's the game plan, bro, and he is setting up his own family in the meantime. I think that's what you need. That's what makes sense to me," said Vince Russo. Furthermore, Russo explained that while Roman Reigns has warmed up to Zayn, only Jey Uso can still sense something fishy with the honorary use's presence in the bloodline. The wrestling veteran added that forming his own family in WWE could give Sami Zayn ample support to step up against Reigns. Okay, bro, he's infiltrating them from the inside. Now Roman is laughing at him, Jay is the only one that's a little smart to him. But at the same time, if he's putting together his own family that he's the head of, now if you go win against Reigns, now all of a sudden you got back up," added Russo. With Kevin Owens rumored to join forces with Sami Zayn sometime down the line, it'll be interesting to see how things pan out in the coming months. Do you agree with Vince Russo's take on Zayn secretly infiltrating the bloodline? Sound off in the comments section below. The Rock to help Sami Zayn defeat Roman Reigns Vince Russo recently discussed the possibility of The Rock helping Sami Zayn win the undisputed WWE Universal Championship from Roman Reigns to set up their much-anticipated WrestleMania 39 match. The honorary use is the most entertaining performer in WWE today, with fans rallying in his support whenever he appears on the screen. Zayn's segments with his fellow Bloodline stablemates are thoroughly riveting. However, viewers think this is just a momentary association, and we could soon see Sami Zayn stepping up to challenge Roman Reigns. On the latest episode of Sportskeeter Wrestling's Writing with Russo, host Dr. Chris Featherstone pitched the idea for Zayn to win the undisputed WWE Universal title. He explained that The Rock could come out and help the honorary use win at Royal Rumble. It would then set up a dream match between the Great One and Reigns for WrestleMania 39. Vince Russo disagreed with this, saying he didn't see the Hollywood star of The Rock stature helping Sami Zayn win. Man, I just got to tell you, you're talking about the biggest movie star in the world giving Sami Zayn a rub. I don't see it, I just don't see it. Even Rock helping Sami Zayn win like I don't. God I just don't, said Russo. In an interview with Sportskeeter Wrestling, Samu, a part of the Anui family, of which both The Rock and Roman Reigns are also a part, shared his prediction about the dream match. He feels that since the tribal chief is in his prime and has plenty of time to devote to wrestling, WWE would have him beat the Bahama Bowl. Whether it will come to fruit or not, who knows, Samu said. But, knowing WWE, they'll probably do whatever it takes to make it happen. I would pick Roman because I feel that he has the youth, the strength, and the time to dedicate to the fans of the Wrestling Federation, Samu said. It remains to be seen if the highly anticipated match between The Rock and Reigns will materialize for WrestleMania 39 or if fans will have to wait longer. Do you see the Brahma Bull getting involved in the current storyline involving the Bloodline? Sound off in the comments section below. Sami Zayn to win the Undisputed Universal Championship Vince Russo believes having Sami Zayn win the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship wouldn't be a great look for the global juggernaut. The honorary use has become a wildly popular performer among viewers, thanks to his excellent comedic timing and character work. Some have gone as far as to clamor that Sami Zayn should be dethroning his bloodline stablemate Roman Reigns for the Undisputed WWE Universal title. Speaking on Sportskeeter Wrestling's Writing with Russo, Vince Russo implied it wouldn't reflect well on the company if they booked Zayn to win the gold. He explained that performers like Mick Foley and Brian Danielson won the WWE Championship because their gimmicks were about never giving up. But to me, the problem is, if he Sami Zayn was to ever become the world champion, is that really a good look for the company? Let's take some of the people you talked about. Mick Foley. The gimmick was the guy was crazy, and you literally had to kill him to beat him. 
Cow in the cell. He went through the roof, he went off the roof, and he wasn't dead. That was the gimmick. Brian Danielson, you could just buy into him as a great little wrestler who wasn't gonna give up, wasn't gonna give up, said Russo. Russo added that even if the global juggernaut went ahead and crowned Zayn as the universal champion, he should drop it in his first title defense itself. I don't know if a company like WWE really wants to put the title on something like his first title defense, he's gotta lose no matter who it is against, added Russo. Russo also feels though he might be getting loud reactions from the live crowds. Sami Zayn may not be the one for whom casual fans tune into the show. I always keep talking about the casual fan base. I don't think Sami Zayn is their highlight real man, said Russo. It would be a stretch to say Zayn has a shot at defeating Roman Reigns, especially since the latter's big ticket dream matches against Cody Rhodes and The Rock are yet to materialize. However, since the wrestling business is unpredictable, things can take a surprising turn if Zayn continues to impress fans. Do you agree with Vince Russo's take on why the honorary youth shouldn't win the world title? Sound off in the comments section below. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me